Strong Man Beer Company Case Study, presented by Group A. The Executive Plan. We are here today to present our plan to introduce Mountain Man Light, the next generation of beers from Mountain Man Beer Company. As we will show, there are demographical, social, and financial incentives for expanding the line. The team will take you through the demographical research, financial analyses, and marketing strategies we have for rolling out Mountain Man Light, moving mountains for generations. Let's take a look at our current brand history. Established in 1925, an old family brew recipe using a meticulous selection of ingredients, blue collar consumers, the working class male, i.e. Mountain Man, really enjoyed great quality and taste, known for smoothness and drinkability, but with a bitter flavor and slightly higher than average alcohol content. We're also the best known regional beer, well positioned throughout the east central region of the U.S. We also won America's Championship Walk Lager for eight straight years. So let's consider the whole timeline of Mountain Man Beer and how we've gone from lagers to light years. The Mountain Man Beer Company was founded in 1925, and by the 1960s, the beer's reputation for quality was well entrenched throughout the east central region of the U.S. In 2001, the U.S. per capita beer consumption had declined by 2.3%, Meanwhile, the Mountain Man Lager maintained its financial success. By 2005, Mountain Man was generating revenues over $50 million and selling over 520,000 barrels. Although sales and revenue were high for Mountain Man Lager, the brand's overall revenue was down 2%. So the light beer category is currently gaining market share and accounting for more than 50% of beers in the U.S. since 2005. As a result of this light beer market demand, we will introduce a light beer targeting younger consumers across the entire family. This addition of the light beer will be a complement to our well-established brand as a whole. On the next slide here, you'll see some demographics and opportunities for the brand. In the first chart on the top left, the current gender demographic for Mountain Men is about 81% male. In the chart underneath, our target market, which is the domestic light beer market, it has a slightly higher percent, a significantly higher percentage of women at 42%. This is an opportunity for us to capitalize on the demographic of people that have a small market share with currently. Our new family-oriented range of beers can target the wives, daughters, and strong females in the lives of the mountain men. For the age demographics, you'll note that the mountain men lager has a strong presence across middle-aged buyers. Domestic light beers, where our new mountain men light will be sold, has a captive younger audience. Research has shown that younger beer drinkers, and especially first-time drinkers, do not have brand loyalty. Let's target this market and show how Mountain Man beers are worthy for enjoying at every stage of life. Our recommendation is for Mountain Man Beer Company to invest in a product line extension, specifically a light beer. Creating a new product is the way to go because since 2001, per capita beer consumption has declined by 2.3% because of the wine and spirits competition, an increase in federal tax, increase in moderation encouragement, personal responsibility, and an increase in health concerns. The light beer category is gaining in market share and has accounted for 50.4% of value sales in 2005. As Avery mentioned, younger consumers prefer light beer categories and they consume in quantity. So this product line extension leverages the core brand name and it helps our brewery obtain greater shelf space for products and keeping the brand in the family. This is why we kept the name similar for brand recognition. Our target is 21 to 27, i.e. the mountain 55 to 54, the mountain mom. We believe this is the way to go because the mountain man light product will cater to the evoke set of our target audience. Specifically, the goal is to market to the family by playing into emotions, focusing on tradition, and bridging the generational gap between the mountain man dad, the mountain man mom, and their mountain man kids. This is the thought process behind the tagline moving mountains for generations. What better way to cultivate family bonding than by sharing a mountain man longer and mountain man life? So now let's talk about the SWAN analysis, some of the strengths. The brand is strong and it's well known, and the market research is positive. Both the women in the market research like the light beer. Also, there's extra capacity, so the launch of this light beer would not require capital expenditures of pp and &E. For offer the light beer category is gaining market share. The younger consumers prefer light beer categories and they consume in quantity. And these audiences frequent the on premise locations, which can really help us appeal to these types of drinkers. The key consumer segment for beer companies are 
are younger adults age 21 to 27. Some weaknesses. Sometimes new product lines account for 90, a 90% chance that you might kill the current brand. It is harder to sell to newer customers than those who already exist, so it might be diluted to the logger and it might be diluted to the market. Some threats. There are consumers that are reaching for the mainstream brands and like your IPC um, Bud Light. What if the ROI is not strong and the brand image is ruined due to the new product? Also, hard seltzers like White Claw or Spice Seltzer are also other new market entrants who are threatening the craft beer industry. Now let's look, let's look at this opportunity from the financial side. When we look at this financial analysis, it shows that the expected growth rate in the market share of light beer and its introduction, Mountain Man Brewing Company will surpass the break-even point before the end of 2007. The expected revenue at the end of 2007 will be over $14 million and the break-even revenue will be $9.7 million after selling just over 100,000 barrels of beer. Despite the losses that we've seen in 2006, the company will bounce back quickly and gain the recognition of other customer base to increase their sales and stay competitive. Despite lower contribution margins on the Mountain Man light beer, the volume of production will increase, securing utilization of the company assets that with the current market conditions are declining utilization. If Mountain Man beer continue, company wants to continue to com be competitive, Additional investment in advertising and promotion is required. This will ensure that both beers continue to drive revenue. We also analyzed and depicted two possible scenarios for the five years growth of Mountain Men beer. Each scenario assumes that Mountain Men lager declines at a rate of 2% per year. The 2006 numbers include advertising increasing of 750,000 and 2006 through 2010 includes increase in sales, general, and administrative of 900,000 each year. The main difference between the high and low financial projections are regarding the growth of Mountain Men light products. Growth projections assume a quarter percent year-over-year -year growth for a five-year composite annual growth rate of 4%, which is consistent with the overall market growth for light beer. High projection is aggressive and assumes a 0.25 additional growth each year for a five-year composite annual growth rate of or around 55%. The most likely scenario probably falls between the two scenarios. However, since the light product has a lower contribution margin than the light, larger products, light beer growth will dilute the overall profit margin. In order to offset the profit margin, the company needs to find operational efficiencies to cut overhead costs and raise up margin. Although the light beer product might be dilute uh, the margin, the product should still be launched since the company will challenge itself to find a way to offset the losses. The light product will also continue contribute significantly to top line growth since the light beer market is growing at a much larger rate. So in order to build awareness, our marketing campaign for Mountain Man Light will have a two-pronged approach. One, to build awareness around the brand and the new product, and two, to drive the target audience into the store to purchase. In order to accomplish this, we plan to utilize the Nielsen Corporation to gain insights into consumer behavior and understand customer motivations. We will analyze the data, looking at purchasing behavior to help drive our marketing strategies, including geographic location and method of purchase for each target audience. Some consumer behaviors we are looking to analyze are accessibility, where are consumers buying beer? Product offering, do consumers consider calorie intake or organic ingredients? And finally, brand loyalty. Is the consumer loyal to one brand or do they try different brands each purchase? To help build awareness, we're gonna focus on social media marketing. We plan to utilize a combination of social media advertising and posts to reach our, our target audience through a variety of uh, social media platforms. One video for our target audience tells the story of a father and son looking to share a mountain man beer, and there'll also be a video featuring a mountain man and his wife. Here's an example of the short video which will be targeting young adults age 21 to 27.
Our second uh, method of increasing brand awareness will include corporate social responsibility. We will be donating money to the Coal Miners Fund and Forest Preservation Initiatives to expand our brand awareness as CSR is important to millennials, one of our new target audiences. In order to get our consumers uh, motivated to purchase, we plan to, use, to utilize a few tactics. One of them is to open our brewery stores to the public to allow our dedicated customers to engage with Mountain Man Beer Company in a new way. By creating an open tap room area as an event space, customers can enjoy draft beer after the tour of the facility where they learn how beer is made and what makes the Mountain Man formula so special. Additionally, customers can attend events, host our parties, or simply come and hang out with their family and enjoy playing games. Since grassroots marketing has proven successful with the Mountain Man Beer Company in the past, we will continue that approach in the East Central region to connect our target audience uh, for Mountain Man Lager, while also forging new relationships with women and young adults for Mountain Man Light. Our sales reps will be connecting with the new audience by engaging with people in bars and restaurants, providing samples at the grocery and beer stores. Additionally, Mountain Man Beer Company will sponsor tailgates at football games and colleges in the region to promote brand awareness to young adults. To promote sales, Mountain Man, Mountain Man Beer Company will utilize plus one promotions and partner with the largest grocery stores in the region to promote both brands through discounts and weekly ads. Finally, we anticipate rolling out Mountain Man Light in late spring to capture summer beer purchases. This will allow Mountain Man Beer Company to utilize patriotic branding and promotions to celebrate the July 4th holiday. In conclusion, the committee is recommending the development and launch of a new light beer called Mountain Man Light. As you have seen from the financial projections, demographics, SWOT, and break-even analyses, their introduction of Mountain Man Light will increase our customer base, maintain a competitive standing in our industry, and promote sales and brand awareness across all market channels. On behalf of the entire team, I want to thank you for your consideration of our proposal.